Hey, what's up guys, Darius here, and welcome to another Minecraft Naruto anime tutorial video. And today, I'm gonna show you how to get the Byakugo. <laughs> So, to, the first thing you have to do is set the time today. No, you don't need to do that, but I want to because I like daytime more than nighttime. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the MBT editor, go down to root uh, zombie. Where is he? Where is he? Where's that zombie? Ooh, creeper. Bad, 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 bad. I mean, what is this? Why do I have this in my. Oh, right, because of the MBT editor. Uh, Diamond Katana, since I'm a ninja. Where are you, Creeper? There you are. Eh. It. Hello? Alright, I can't use this. Ah, uh, no! Of course, I thought it was the M M I thought it was from the MBT editor. Uh, sorry guys, but I, I don't like having creepers in my village. Are you serious? Are you serious? Why? I... Wait. 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 Yeah! Alright, so, creeper's dead. I can go back up here. And I can take this away. So, as I was saying, the first thing you have to do to get the Byakugo, aka the 100, the 100 Healing Jutsu, is go down, go to Chakra Player, and go all the way to where it says Byakugo, and put that to 1. And then you actually need the ninja to this time it's not just because i want to be extremely overpowered and not having to change it later and i think you have to put chakra experience too because when you press m to activate the biaku it tells you you need a, a thousand chakra but there's nothing that says chakra so i'm just gonna activate that and let's give us some skill points as well as some jutsu points so that and back up here to that all right see the little diamond on my forehead now kaboom we die and then we're i spawned on top of the fence that's cool and Peep, um, i don't know if mojang already fixed this i haven't checked because i'm in a very very um, old version of Minecraft, the 1.7.10 version, but I'm I'm not I I'm not sure. I don't know, guys, but I think people should not be able to float on fences. I'm not sure. I don't know if it, I I don't know if it is scientifically proven, but people should not be able to float on fences, in my opinion. So if you haven't changed that, Mojang, please change it. So um, now we have the. Um, the diamond on our forehead, which is the 100 healings jutsu. So, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's a it's a diamond on someone's forehead, mainly Tsunade's forehead, that that when you activate it, it turns into like a pattern on your on your face and makes you in, immortal. So that that's actually what it does in the add-on for once for once one of this one of these things work so to test it we shall go to the tuning exam hall so we're going over there right now where is the road to the tuning ah it's right here all right so we um for those of you who haven't been keeping up so far with the naruto anime mod tutorials for we used to just test it out on the top of the Hokage castle, which is not good because then we'll have to, um, we'll, we'll probably end up destroying something one day with these tutorials and that's not what we want. So, I've downloaded, uh, well, of course I've downloaded a Hill Village map, if not I wouldn't have a Hokage castle. But, 
um, we have found what is going on here. We have found a tuning exam uh, hall thing, and in here we can test out the stuff, and it's starting to fade. So to activate it, you just, as I said, you just press M. M. All right. Why is that not working? Did I do everything correctly? It says M. Ninja R Creation Rebirth. So, why is it not working? Someone please tell me. Oh, you don't have to do it like that. It's easier to do it like that, but I don't know why it's not working. So, I'll just set the Biako go to 2, which will, which will let it... Wait, Biako? Oh, yeah. Which will activate it directly. So, now, I just press uh, World... World... World spawn and I die let's see if that works alright why do I always go on the top of this does do the ender pro glitches do, do the ender pro glitch work no alright uh, always have to walk all the way down here do a do a back foot backflip fall down and right back in so we're back what did it say under the end of pro what oh well so as i was saying this jutsu wait what about the research pack research pack research pack research pack i don't know if that makes the uh, the byakugo not penetrate your eyes but I believe it does. What do you mean, Minecraft not responding? No. Wait. Alright, it's back. And there we go. Now, is it correct? No, it still penetrates my eyes. Oh well. So, let's go into game of survival and get some creepers. Creepers. And if this worked correctly, if I spawn them, they should do nothing to me. Yes! I am invincible. I take no damage whatsoever. It's so cool. Uh, and it's not because I, I put my health high like last time. It's actually because I don't... Wait, I just took damage there. It's actually because I don't, I don't take damage from this break. And yeah, that's pretty much all for this tutorial video. It was pretty short, and it's a pretty cool thing to be uh, virtually invincible in Minecraft. Uh, as you can imagine, you don't need to worry about creepers anymore. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed. Um, please consider liking the video and subscribing and turn on the notification so you never miss another Minecraft Naruto Animal tutorial video by me. And bye everyone, happy new year, see you guys in the next video.